This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Profit. It gives me great pleasure to welcome R.C. Bhargav, Chairman of Maruti, on NDTV Profit today. Thank Sir, you. appreciate your time. I know these are extremely busy days. And I'm sure foremost for you and indeed for those who are tracking the developments in Mane, sir, is the status of the strike. Uh, how do things stand uh, today, Tuesday morning? Uh, so far, no change that I know of. It's continuing as it was. I just want to establish the facts once again. Uh, how many workers are on strike? Eleven have been uh, relieved of their employment. What does that take the number down to? And what's the qualitative sense you're getting of the ongoing discussions? The numbers who were in the factory who stayed back and who are not working, I think somewhere between 600 and 800. And uh, talks have started, but the, one of the handicaps in this talk is that there's no established leadership of this movement. They don't have a elected representative or any such thing. So we have been talking to some people who say they are the leaders. I hope they have influence on the rest of the workers. What is the management stance and what are, from your uh, mouth here, what is the demand of the union? Is it essentially, I mean, the workers, is it the creation of a separate union? Yeah, well, they have applied for the registration of a union. The union has not yet been registered. That is something which is done by the state government, not in the hands of the company at all. The question of registration is first. Recognition comes after that. Okay. Now, they have gone on a strike, apparently to say that they should be allowed to form a union or the union should be registered. I'm not quite sure what the demand is. Because recognition in any case is premature till a union is registered. registered. And after the union is registered, it must be able to establish that it has a significant following in the workers for the management to even consider recognizing the union. Today, the bulk of the workers in the factory are actually members of the Gurgaon union. Mm -hmm. So how to justify this claim that you have membership which is actually yours and not the Gurgaon and those guys are payment paying, due paying members of the other union. My view was there's an election coming up next month. People have a right to vote in that election and to establish whatever they want. But uh, more than that, I have a view also on the change which has taken place or which should have been recognized by workers and management as a result of the growing competition in certain industries. Mm -hmm. And my belief is that in these industries which are now today in a highly competitive environment, the future of the workers in terms of job security, in terms of their prospects of career advancement or wage increases, depends essentially on the competitiveness and the prosperity of the company. And that's a philosophy, I suppose, that it takes some time to sink in. That is something which we have been, of course, preaching in Gurgaon, and it has sunk in in Gurgaon, and the workers recognize that, and they benefited from that. Obviously, this has not yet sunk into the workers in Manesar. Do you think there's some outside trigger, some outside support? Influence? There's a lot of speculation on that, Manvi. I'm not sure. You but know, because that belt itself, yeah, exactly. it has a volatile labor history. That's right. And so there are active... Uh, body is there. So, you know, one begins we to wonder. We have seen in the other uh, factories where this has taken place that there's always been some outside trade union or political party which is uh, supporting the workers. They all like to step in. Natural, because they want to establish their uh, strength in a particular region. So I wouldn't be surprised if there is an uh, outside influence uh, working also. NDTV's Cricket App Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com slash apps.